Welcome to Sports from the Couch. I gotta say, it's the stupidest thing in sports. With your host, Mike Mercado. Players cannot stand them. Coaches cannot stand them. Most importantly, the fans can't stand them. Brought to you by Mercado Airways. I'm gonna say it once and hopefully I'm wrong, but it's a disaster waiting to happen. That is so bad, that is absolutely brutal. Hello and welcome in, friends, to another edition of Sports from the Couch here on Mercado Airwaves. I'm your host, Mike Mercado. I want to thank you so much for making us a part of your Monday, June 7th, 2021. I hope each and every one of you had a wonderful, safe weekend. On today's episode, to start this week, we need to talk about Logan Paul, Floyd Money Mayweather, Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley, and all these things that are happening in the boxing and MMA world. Whether this is good or bad for boxing, for MMA, for the sports world, and so much more about this topic, we need to get into it because a lot of people have a lot of things to say, including myself. But before we do that, let's get into some housekeeping notes. Take care of all that. Follow me on Twitter at Mike M Media. I'm also on Instagram at Mike Mercado Media. Be interactive with the show on Twitter at Couch Sports Talk. And keep up to date with everything we're doing on the network from the True Crime Show, the Pop Culture Show, our sister podcast, the Gone Missing Podcast, and our brand new podcast, Two Nerds of a Feather Podcast, at Mercado Airwaves. Like, rate, review, and share us wherever you get your favorite podcast at Mercado Airwaves. See the video version of the podcast on YouTube, youtube.com slash Mercado Airwaves Network, and on Facebook, facebook.com slash Mercado Airwaves. We have swag, teespring.com slash Mercado Airwaves. And come visit us, become a producer, support the network at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. All right, guys. So on today's edition, I wanted to talk a little bit about these super fights, these celebrity fights, these hype fights, these social media fights that we've been seeing in the sports world, in the boxing world in particular, and all over kind of the the social media realm when it comes to our little communities. And obviously, the forefront of it are the Paul brothers, Logan Paul and Jake Paul. And recently, just this past weekend, we saw Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul in eight rounds on Showtime. Ocho Cinco was in that uh, card. There was an actual real card in be- uh, fight in between these two. So very interesting to see how this is all played out. We've seen the Nate Robinson fight. And, you know, this before we get into, I think, a deep dive into this conversation and, and my general thoughts, I think the most important thing to start it off, the foundation of this conversation, is that none of this is new. All this has been stuff that we've seen before, all the way from Anoki and Ali till right now. We've seen celebrity boxing, right? Like, this all exists. But I think there's actually an interesting conversation, a nuanced conversation that we can have about what these guys are doing and what it means for sports. I mean, right away, the first thing you got to realize is that these MMA fighters, especially in the UFC, which I love the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I love Bellator. I love one... I love all these guys. These, I love these organizations. The men and women, the superstars are amazing. And I love the fights. And I love Saturday nights being a, a must-see TV for the most part when there's awesome UFC cards like there are this weekend. But they don't get paid. So when you see a guy like Tyron Woodley, one of the greatest welterweights to ever do it, have to make a fight like this with Jake Paul, it's because they're not getting paid. So there's also, we have to be fair about the entire scenario, right? Okay. So my first point is, is it good for boxing? Because we know it's not a good thing for MMA. We know it's not at least a, a, it's a, it's a black eye for the MMA community and for the UFC when it comes to their, how they're paying guys, how much they're paying them, where they're paying them, and the circumstances, whether or not they're going to get that check depending on if a fight goes through, all that, right? But is it good for boxing? I guess my argument or my mindset of this is, You're going to have the super fights anyway, right? Whether it's Joshua, whether it's Fury, whether it's Wilder, whether it's Canelo. You know, you you got guys that are out there that are going to sell pay-per-views. You know, there's a few dudes over on Fox. Like, there are some killers out right now. And some of them are household names. Some of them are names when you hear them, you're like, ah, yes, yes, I know that guy. I've heard that guy before. And then there are some where you have no idea that you're watching a superstar. And when you have something like this, I think there's, there was the idea of 
having the having your cake and eating it too, right? Maybe put on a really good super fight in an actual competition and then also having one of these celebrity fights. But we've seen how that goes and that's out the window. So then it just becomes on its own, on surface value, is it good for boxing? I don't think it's good for boxing the entity. If it's good for boxing the sport in the public knowledge and in the consciousness and excitement and hype, yeah, that's good. But again, the main guys are going to sell their pay-per-views. The big problem comes down to boxing itself. Boxing not being able to make these fights that fans want right away. That's a problem. You know, whether it's Crawford, Spence, like there, there's, there's this, all these crazy things that are going on, right? So, boxing in its own right has not done itself any favors. You know, and, and I guess you can make the counter argument of like, UFC gives us the super fights. The UFC gives us all the fights we want. And these guys still aren't making money. Yeah, but while true, it's always on. They're on ABC. They're on the ESPN app. They're constantly getting promoted. And that's money. Anytime you promote something on television, that costs money. So, you know, which one is it? I love Showtime. Showtime goes all in on their coverage, right? And shout out, remember how great HBO Boxing is. Like, there is room for great content when it comes to boxing. But it just doesn't have the same outreach. So, is it good for boxing? Probably not. But it sure as hell is good for the guys who are able to make money off of it. For the entities, for the media for those athletes, for the venues, yeah, people are making money off of it. Now, whether or not you enjoyed it, I mean, that's, see, you know, buyer beware. Nobody's telling you it's going to be great. You're not watching, you know, Israel Adesanya fighting. You're not going to see Fury versus Joshua or versus Wilder. You're not guaranteed anything great when you're getting a Logan Paul and a Floyd Mayweather in an eight-round exhibition. Now, I think it is fair to make a highlight of they charge 50 bucks during and after a pandemic for this. But I can't let the fan off the hook. Whether you streamed it illegally or right, you pirated that bad boy. You spent your time, your valuable time watching it. That's your fault. If you dropped the 50 bucks and knew that this was the the circus you were going to get and this is what they delivered, that's your fault. Now, if you're an actual fan of the Paul brothers, of Logan, Jake, you're a fan of Mayweather, and you enjoyed your Sunday night, you had some food, it was beautiful weather, you had some some brewskis, a soda here or there, and you watched the fights, you enjoyed it, God bless you. To each their own, whatever floats your boat, right? But if you're going to spend the money knowing you're going to complain, that is on you, and I don't feel bad for you. Buyers beware, especially in these scenarios. There are plenty of great UFC cards Boxing cards that you could pay for less money to watch. And you chose not to. And then when I was coming up with this, the next thing I thought of was, does boxing even care? You know, we spent the first part of the of, of the conversation talking about, is it good for boxing? And then, you know, whether the fan is spending money on it, their hard-earned bucks for this, what whatever this is going to be. But does boxing even care? Because there is so much money on the very top, right? That's where the, 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 the little fishes under the shark take their money from, from a Tyson Fury fight, right? Or in the UFC, a Conor McGregor fight, right? Boxing doesn't care because they, obviously they haven't if they haven't changed any of their practices throughout this entire time. They've seen fandom and go down. HBO got rid of boxing. So does boxing care? Or is boxing just like, thank you for talking about this? Because unless it's Canelo... We can't sell these damn things. I don't know if boxing even gives a damn. I don't. Now, what's funny about boxing not caring, right? And then, obviously, Ben Askren, Nate Robinson, uh, you know, all these athletes that come in, and the ones that specifically go against the the Paul brothers. Where I think the, the mix-up happened is, not only does boxing not care, but what aggravates people is that they're decent, they're decent athletes. They're not pro boxers, but they're decent athletes. So you would think boxing on some level would care. That they would, if they're going to try to exploit it, they exploit it in a, in, a, in a way that everybody benefits from it. I have no idea where they stand when it comes to these type of specific scenarios. So, 
we're at this crossroads now, though, right? We're going to have this Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley fight. You've already had Logan Paul take on Mayweather. So for Logan's part, right? Unless it's Conor McGregor, what else is there to do? You're not going to make as much money as you did now. God bless you. Save it and enjoy your enterprise. And for Jake's sake, you know, he talks about he wants to be at least a decent fighter. He wants to be respectable. Shout out to him. That's cool. Good for you. Hopefully you put in the work. These are athletes. They're, these guys are athletes. And you beat Tyron. You start getting these, you know, this notoriety of being the MMA killer. And you schedule it right. There is a little niche for that. So you, he does, Jake does have a little bit more room to go as long as he keeps winning. It's going to be an interesting fight with Tyron because Tyron's not the greatest of boxers. He's got a lot of power, but we've seen the age catch up to him. This isn't an MMA fight, so this isn't a wrestling fight, a wrestling match. So there is some intrigue in this matchup. Not enough for 50 bucks, but interesting enough to keep a side eye on it. He is the younger brother. So I think his path to making more money, to selling pay-per-views, there might be something there for him. Logan is interesting. We've seen him do the WWE stuff. We've seen him do the other multimedia things, the corporations, the businesses he owns. Where is there for him to go in this realm? So we're in this realm right now. We're seeing the the former athletes fight. We're seeing YouTubers fight. This is nothing new. We've seen Tanya Hardy fight, for God's sakes, right? Can this continue beyond these two guys? I don't know if it's going to be as lucrative. It's kind of like the, the, the Bitcoin era thingy, trading cards. It's like there's a bubble. Some of them last longer than others. Eventually, everything bursts. And I think these two dudes saw it. They pulled their best Daniel Day-Lewis. They sucked up all the oil, and they, they ran out like bandits. And they're going to keep doing it as much as they can. But I don't know if you're going to be able to just get Joe Schmo to care about random athlete fighting. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I don't know if there's an appetite for that. When you could just go on World Star and watch other people fight for free. So I do think that they've kind of burst their own bubble. And they're going to maintain whatever the, the aftermath of it is, right? But they're going to keep it. And it's going to go to these two dudes. I definitely do. If Jake wins, I think he does have more of a future making money in this than Logan does. Because he's done the mountaintop. Unless Connor is for real. It's interesting, too, that... And it goes back to what we talked about the beginning. Like, these guys, these big stars, think about all the money. And Mayweather talked about it in an interview with the boys over at Morning Combat. Shout out to uh, uh, Luke Thomas and uh, Brian Campbell. They talked to him about, about this fight. And he mentioned, he's like, when he saw how many social media followers he had, that was enough. He didn't have to know who Logan Paul was. He knew that he can exploit and make money off of this because there was enough notoriety and popularity. But these are the two... This is the most popular boxer of all time, right? Or, or most polarizing one of his generation. And the YouTuber, right? Like, at what point does it get bigger than that? Unless you bring in Conor McGregor. But if Conor's going to come back, it's going to be against Mayweather. So I don't know where Logan goes from here. But, you know, I think kind of wrapping up this conversation about these guys specifically and, and, and this role that we're in now in, in professional fighting or pro fighting is... Depending on what happens and if Tyron is taking this seriously and if he has some power left in him with smaller gloves, we'll see the type of chin that Jake has. But we know that these are big boys. They're athletes. It'll be an interesting fight. I think this this is actually more interesting than any of the other things that they've done before, especially the Ben Askren thing. Like This is actually pretty interesting, just out of curiosity, right? So I, I'll be... I'll keep my eye on it. We're not going to cover it, but I think it's okay if you keep your eye, eye on this. So I guess in, in conclusion, right, this whole conversation, you have sat here on Sports from the Couch with Mike Mercado on Mercado Airwaves, and we've had this, this talk. So what? What now? I guess it's okay to watch these things, right? I think it's okay to watch this if you know what you're watching. And that you have that understanding and that mindset. You know, when you go see a Transformers movie, or then you go see a Martin Scorsese movie, or you go listen to one pop band, but then you listen to an orchestra. It's like there's different levels and there's different enjoyment to life. You can go right ahead and watch whether you're a Logan Paul fan, beat up Mayweather. Whether you're a Mayweather fan, beat up Logan Paul. Or whether you hate both of them and want to see them both get smacked around. 
there is an audience for that, and that's okay. It's like ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, Neapolitan, whatever it is, everybody has their own flavor. You can keep yours on your side. I don't want it touching my ice cream, but that's okay if that's how you feel. Because at the end of this, as long as you're not hurting anyone and no one's hurting you and you know full well what you're buying, I think, why? what the hell? Enjoy it. Boxing's not giving you the fights they, that you want. And MMA is going to give it to you, but they're not going to pay their dudes. So, damn it. Why don't we start a fight? Which, by the way, I am now starting a campaign. If you want to see me fight another radio host, media host, TV personality, let me know. I will do it for $5 at one of the local barbecue joints or one of my barbecue family joints. And we will box, and it will be fantastic. But with that, thank you guys so much for joining us on this edition of Sports from the Couch here on Mercado Airwaves. We hope you enjoyed this episode make sure you're following us all over the universe i'm on twitter at mike and media instagram mike mercado media be interactive with the show with us on twitter at couch sports talk let us know did you watch this fight do you regret paying for it will you watch any more that's couch sports talk and at mercado airwaves to keep up to date with all the podcasts that we're doing here on the network support us on patreon patreon.com slash mercado airwaves network and of course teespring.com slash mercado airwaves you can support us right there as well youtube.com slash mercado airwaves network for the video version of the podcast and on facebook at mercado airwaves keep up to date with us make sure you guys are following us to see when we're putting up a new episode of the good brothers two nerds of a feather podcast our interviews with athletes and celebrities and of course our sister podcast the gone missing podcast enjoy all the games take care of yourself take care of each other we will see you next time here on Sports from the Couch, on the Mercado Airwaves Network, I'm Mike Mercado.